Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God, I love myself, and I love others with the God kind of love. I believe the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent, and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. here with here at Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Today we're in lesson 82. We're going to talk about TU times U. No carrying, okay? We'll carry, we'll learn how to carry multiplication equations in a future lesson. But for now we're going to learn how to do TUs, which is um, TUs, which is the, when you have a two-digit number, times a U, which is just a single-digit number, we'll call it a unit, and we're going to work that problem out. Now, I put this on the board because I want you to be able to see, uh, answer this basic question, this basic, this basic equation, and then I'll show you what it looks like in multiplication form, where that x is means times. So let's work this out first. What's 4 plus 4? Four? 4 plus 4 is 8, right? Just one big 8. What's 3 plus 3? Three? 3 plus 3 is 6. So 34 plus 34 is 68, right? You could have done that in your mind, no problem. But what happens if I say 34? What happens if I if I want to um, condense this and say 34 times 2, right? Isn't that, I'm saying 34 two times, so I may as well just say 34 times 2, which is where this comes from, that x. So what's 34 times 2? It should give us the same answer. The way we solve this problem is basically two-step. The first thing you want to do is multiply the four and two together. Four times two, put your answer here. And then you wanna say three times two and put your answer here. Let me uh, work this out for you to show you. Four times two, well, what's four times two? That's easy, right? Four, two times, that's eight. What's three times two? Three times two, that's six. So 34 times 2 is 60, just like we've seen before. Let's try another one. Here we have 21 plus 21. Let's work this out together. What's 1 plus 1? 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2, that's, that's 4. Easy enough. What happens if I say, well, let's just make this a multiplication problem. What's 21 times 2? Well, then we can say 21 times 2. 1 times 2 is 1 times two, that's two. One times two is two. If you don't know that by now, please like, pause the lesson and go back and learn your multiplication facts, okay? That's really important to know basic single digits like that. One times two is two. Two times two, what's two times two? Is that four? So 21 times two is 42. That looks ugly, I'm sorry about that, no problem. Let's try uh, one more and then I think this will be okay. Let's do 32 times three. 32, let's do 32 plus 32 plus 32. I like for you to see the repeat addition before I show you the multiplication problem. I want you to see how they're related. Okay, so 32 plus 32 plus 32. Let's start by adding up the twos because this is an addition problem first. 
2 plus 2 plus 2, what is that? Is that 6? And then what's 3 plus 3 plus 3? That's 9. 32 plus 32 plus 32 is 96. Okay, well, let's simplify this. And instead, let's say 32 times, what are we going to say, times 3? Because there's 1, 2, and 3 numbers. Okay, so what's 32 times 3? Well, what's 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 times 3 is 9. So 32 times 3 is 96. Did you get that? Good work. I trust you did. Please take time to complete the exercise in your workbook. It'll just reinforce what you learned today. Thank you so much for coming across being a part of today's lesson. Until next time, remember Jesus loves you. And so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you?